At a time when we're being told to keep a social distance due to COVID-19, it is ironic that many educators and students have been working for some time now on eliminating just that for very different reasons. Beyond Differences is a nonprofit organization that combats social isolation in schools. There was a calling out to schools in the New York City area to participate in a pilot program where an NYC Outward Bound school. So we do a lot of hands-on learning as an expeditionary learning school. We started there, we got some training for myself and also for the 10 students that we selected. And from there, it grew. We feel like that social isolation really happens in our school and we want to prevent that from happening. You'd see them sitting alone, so you try to help them, sit next to them, probably talk to them. We've really raised awareness to the point that we just had kids start showing up, which has been really, really cool because um, it shows that I think the kids feel welcome and that they want to make a difference. Mainly, like, it's quiet kids that feel like they don't have, like, friends, like, lunch time and stuff like that. So we try to do events like um, No One Eats Alone. We notice like everyone sits like with their friends. So we try to break people up and like mix other people. And it was actually really successful. So being a middle school, we see a lot of struggle with kids. First of all, coming from elementary school to here is a big transition. It's also adjusting to the way that we learn here, which we believe is the best way for kids to learn. So just thinking about the fact that that's already a tough transition. And then you throw a bunch of kids from all different places into one space and say, okay, get to know each other. That's hard even for adults to do. When I first came to the school, it was pretty, you know, anxious, type of nervous feeling. I felt somewhat alone. It really is hard. <laughs> we were just working on these posters. It'll give steps like to talk to an adult that you trust. And we're also including if you're ever feeling anxious or having a panic attack in a classroom, some coping mechanisms and steps you can take to help you calm down. We were discussing our observations from the classrooms, so we were kind of getting a bigger picture. We all work together to help each other in different things. One of the events that we did for the first time last year is called Be Kind Online. And what our students noticed and learned through that event is how difficult it can be, not just to navigate social spaces in like the physical realm, but also to navigate those digital spaces, because that's where they are spending a lot of their time and where sometimes they can be the most mean to each other. So we want to equip them to be successful there. We've created multiple events that do that and make sure every student feels appreciated and valued in our environment. We're trying to make everyone feel accepted here and feel like they belong. And we don't want anyone to feel alone. We don't want anyone to feel alone. She's right. We're all in this together. We all want to come out of these dark times together. We hope we've brought you good information to help our children cope. I'm Shirley Nalakot. Thank you for joining us.